Let's proceed to the chemical properties. So, group 17 elements are very reactive. They are all very reactive nonmetals. The atoms all have seven valence electrons. Uh, makes them have very similar chemical properties. So all elements in group 17, they have seven valence electrons. Uh, they have seven valence electrons. Uh, the chemical properties depends on the number of valence electrons. So if, since they have uh, same numbers of valence electrons, so uh, chemically they are uh, very similar. Uh, during chemical reactions, so it means that when this uh, group 17 react with other elements, uh, what happens? Uh, okay, so group 17 they has seven valence electron. Okay, so can you please tell me if a shell filled with seven valence electron? Uh, okay, is is this stable, stable or not stable? Yeah, uh, not stable. Eh? Okay, because only uh, if they have eight electrons, then uh, then consider stable. Okay, eight electrons consider stable. That we, we call it octet. Eh? Okay, we'll discuss that in next chapter. Okay, so seven valence electron. Eh? Okay, you see here it has seven valence electron. Eh? Uh, it's not stable, and if it's not stable, it will try to uh, attract or receive one electron. Eh? Okay, here you see there's no electron, right? Okay, so it react and receive this electron. Eh? After receiving this electron, then it become a, a stable. Okay, stable atoms here. So during chemical reactions, the atom gains one electron, eh, receive one electron to form ions so with charge negative one. Okay, this one is neutral, eh, ne this neutral. And after reactions, uh, it, it receives electrons, okay, then the charge will become negative. Eh? Okay, let me write here. Uh, the charge become negative. Okay. Uh, since it receives only one electron, eh, okay. One electron, and therefore uh, the charge is a negative one. Okay, and the chlorine also the same. Okay, you can see it has seven valence electron. And after after adding these uh, electrons, you know, okay, they become eight electrons. Uh, so that is how uh, group seventeen elements react. Okay, they react by receiving electrons uh, from other atoms. Okay, now all group seventeen elements are poisonous, so you uh, you shouldn't uh, inhale. Okay, or eat this uh, group 17 uh, elements. Uh. So when you do experiments, uh, okay, yeah, for this poisonous gas, uh, when you do experiment, then you must be very uh, careful, okay? How about swimming pool, okay? Swimming pool, they add chlorine, right? Uh, but because swimming pool is so big, yeah, it's so big, uh, when you add chlorine, so the chlorine is very dilute. So the it, uh, still is not very good, okay? So it's not advisable to go to swimming pool every day. Because uh, this chlorine can uh, can be absorbed uh, through your skin, yeah. So it's it's not very good. But it's, if you go once a while, it's okay because it's uh, diluted. Okay. Of course, if if you can swim in a river, then it's better. Okay. Mm. How about water? Drinking water. Okay. Uh, yes. In this uh, pipe water. Okay. Uh, chlorine is also added. Okay. And again, it's very di it's diluted. It's diluted, okay. Uh, anyway, still, you're advised to filter the water to remove the chlorine. How about uh, fluorine? Okay, uh, fluorine is more poisonous, okay. So, so we, we, we do not use it in water, drinking water. Then how about toothpaste? Okay, that one is not fluorine. That one is fluoride. Okay, the toothpaste, the toothpaste is the fluoride salt. Okay, it's not fluorine, okay. Mm. So fluoride and fluorine is not really the same, yeah. But we can use fluorine to make fluoride salt, okay. But then the chemical property is not the same anymore, eh? okay. So it's poisonous, and then uh, the last element eh, in group seventeen uh, is astatine, eh? and it's a radioactive, radioactive element. So the other poisonous, eh? and the last one uh, is uh, radioactive. Okay, now since uh, all these uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine gases are poisonous, so the, the experiments uh, need to be carried out in a film chamber. Yeah? Okay, in, no, normally at the back of the, this uh, every lab, uh, there's a film chamber. Okay? Any experiment that involves this uh, fluorine, bromine, and I, uh, fluorine, bromine, and chlorine, uh, okay? you advise to do it in a film chamber. Okay? 
So that is the uh, safety precautions. This is important, okay? Because in exam they will ask you, okay, what's the safety precaution step uh, we need to, to uh, need to be taken? Group seventeen element. If they react with matter, will they form a uh, halide? Yes, they will form halide. Uh, then experiment in war fluorine uh, usually are not done in school. Okay, it's not done in school. Why? Because it's very dangerous. Eh? Okay, because it's so reactive. Eh? So it can react with most of the substance it comes into contact with it. Uh, then uh, may be destroyed. So it's very difficult eh, to conduct experiments involving fluorine and therefore we do not do experiments that involve uh, fluorine in, uh, in school lab. Uh, 